Good morning, good morning, and welcome to my Monday messages. Um, for those of you not familiar with these, I'm Rebecca. I'm a homeopath. I'm a QTT practitioner, a holistic life coach, mentor, and all-round natural health advocate. And I just pop in here on a Monday with my thoughts um, or a practice or some kind of um, stimulation to hopefully uh, enable us all to think about the things that are um, serving us in our lives and the things that perhaps aren't serving us terribly well, and most importantly, being able to um, affect changes so that those things are not so prevalent in our lives. So today is going to be my last Monday message for, uh, well, before Christmas, um, because I'm going away. For those of you who've been following me, you probably know that already, but I'm just going away on Wednesday and I won't be back until the 21st. So this is it for the Monday messages for um, this period uh, before Christmas. So that's really what I wanted to talk about was a little aspect, well, actually quite a big aspect of Christmas um, that I something I've been noticing in a few of my clients over this last week or so. Um, and that is the the perceived pressure around gift giving. Um, the whole notion that, um, you know, money must be spent um that um you know the buying of gifts is something that is can feel quite overwhelming that becomes uh, you know a, another chore another thing to tick off the list um and for some of us who are perhaps already a little bit overwhelmed the whole christmas thing and particularly uh, the buying of gifts can tip us into really being immersed in overwhelm and feeling that, oh my God, this is just one thing too far. Um, I'm already stretched. How am I going to fit everything in? Um, and also for some people, um, obviously, it's a huge financial burden or can be if we allow it to be. Um, and it made me think about the whole uh, essence of giving gifts and how far away a lot of us have come from that original spirit of gift giving. Um, it's interesting to me that the, the, the whole thing about giving gifts is kind of symbolised latterly um, in the Christian faith by the three kings and the gifts that they brought to the newborn baby Jesus. And all three of those gifts are actually medicinal, and they certainly were in those times um, and, and still are in a lot of regards. Um, most of us know that frankincense and myrrh are essential oils and they have um, very great gifts medicinally. Um, but also gold um, was used medicinally in those days and actually way be before that. And it, interestingly, is still... Uh, a homeopathic remedy um, called Aurum, and it's a it's a gift that um, was used to address things like depression, sadness. Um, it was used to calm the nerves and to relieve things like migraines and migraines, um, as well as addressing things like uh, alcoholism and epilepsy. Interestingly, um, anyway. I digress, but uh, that gift giving is interesting to me that it's about health. And actually, that is, in my view, and I would say this, obviously, one of the greatest gifts that we can give. But we've got collectively caught up in a kind of feeding frenzy of consumerism around Christmas. And I wanted to just remind those of you that might feel caught up in that, and there is no judgment there, 
by the way, because I, I feel it myself, you know, despite my good intentions. Um, if you All you've got to do is visit a shop and you can get just carried away with, oh, lovely stuff, must buy lots of things. And you have to work quite hard at stopping yourself from doing that if you need to. Um, so I wanted to just remind us of all of us of the essence of gift giving. And that is really about showing those that we love or sometimes those that we respect um, how we feel and connecting with them and, and the pleasure that comes from giving a gift to somebody that you love and seeing their face light up with surprise and delight and the, the, the knowledge that um, that you've got it right, that you've actually chosen something that brings joy to that person. And also the recipient feeling in their heart, oh my God, that person, this person knows me, this person has listened to me, has felt me and understands what gives me pleasure. Um, and that is the real gift. That is the essence of it for me. Now, it may not be for you. So if you disagree, do do pop your comments um, with this. You know, when you're looking at this video, do pop them in the in the comments, um, because I'd love to hear if you if you think that's not the case. So the gift itself is actually just a symbol of how we feel about somebody. So it could be anything. You know, there's nothing more pleasurable when you have young children too, when they pick up a, a stone um, that has appealed to them and they give it to you and say, mommy, this is for you, or a flower, or, you know, you get that wonky piece of pottery back from, from school that has been made with great love and painted with great care and presented with great pride. Those things are far more valuable to, well, they are to me, than, you know, a diamond necklace or a, a new mobile phone. Um, it, it, those are things that, that they're not, a, that they don't engender the same feeling is what I'm saying. So to get back to um, gift giving and the essence of it, we've tried to do this as a family this year um, because um, none of us are feeling particularly flush <laughs> at the moment. So we decided collectively that we would have a financial ceiling on the money that we spent on gifts. And it's much lower than it would be normally. And it's very interesting what's happening, actually. Already, it's making us all think much more deeply about the gift itself, but also about obviously the person that it's being bought for or made for. Um, and that's the other element of this is that um, there's a kind of tipping point. So sometimes um, the decision might be, well, do you know what, actually, if I've got no funds or limited funds, then I'm much more inclined to um, tip into my creative side and make something. Um, you know, my son just chose to make the most beautiful birthday cake for my daughter, his sister. Um, just the most gorgeous cake, which he did with great love and great care. And it was just delicious. Um, that's a beautiful gift. And uh, of course, it's not completely free, but it's nowhere near the kind of money that he perhaps would have spent in previous years by just going, oh, what do you want? And I'll get it for you, which just seems like it just doesn't do it for me. So anyway, I'm rambling a bit, but I wanted to encourage us all to get back to that essence of gift giving and not have it attached to um, large amounts of money or um, tapping into the kind of collective pr retail pressure that there is around uh, at the moment. Um, nowhere, I think, does it serve us more to, to really examine our values, actually, when we're gift buying, whether it's for Christmas or not. And just think about, am I, which, which set of values am I tipping in, tapping into here? 
am I buying this gift for this person um, according to the collective values? So, you know, oh, you know, I will be judged lacking if I don't spend at least whatever. Um, or are we using our own value set of values um, and going by, you know, what we value as a gift um, for ourselves? Or are we actually thinking about the values of the person that we're buying the gift for? What are their values? Perhaps they don't have the same well, they may have the same values, but they may, but they may not be in the same order. Um, I mean, for example, I've spent years telling my children, listen, I don't care about expensive gifts. Please don't spend loads of money on me, especially if you haven't got it. That doesn't mean anything to me other than it just makes me feel, oh, God, you've spent too much money on me. My values are much more around doing the little things that show me that you know me, that show me that this is something that I is a tr real treat for me. And that could be that could be a cup of tea in bed or it could be, um, I, I don't know, it, it could be uh, buying me um, a voucher for my favourite massage or it could be about um, baking me a cake or making me my favourite chocolate nuts or you know anything really it's it's the thought that counts um it's the intention and it's the the feelings that go with it that are the real gift uh, i think it it would be really interesting actually if we all went back to what our ancestors did and they mostly the gifts were around food were especially when um in the winter months food is can be scarce and um the the things that we've made perhaps when food was bountiful um are coming to fruition if you like so things like the chutneys the pickles the jams that might have been made in um the summer or the end of the summer now is the time that they are really rich and and um uh, ready to eat. So they make wonderful gifts, but also baking and making your own homemade sweets and chocolates. And, or even if you're not that way inclined, you know, going to get lovely food in your local organic um, food shop, there's always something, even if it's a bottle of homemade wine or, you know, anything like that. Those are the gifts that Christmas was originally about. Um, so I wanted to encourage a return to that. But also, if Christmas is tipping you into overwhelm and um, feeling like it's this is just one more thing that needs to be got through and that, uh, you know, gift giving is just ticking things off a list, um, it's another chore, it's another thing that has to be navigated, um, I would ask you to just stop and just have a think about, just allow yourself some time to think about, okay, so what could I do? What actions could I do this year that are actually going to change that a bit for me and that are going to mean that I feel differently, if not this year, then next year? What, what, could I do differently? Because just doing the same thing over and over, you know, every year means you get the same results. So um, that's something that you could you could do. You know, perhaps you could have a ceiling on the amount of money that you spend on each other. Perhaps you could even say, actually, we're all grown ups. If, if your kids are grown up enough, maybe you could just say, let's not give gifts this year. Let's just be together and gift each other with our presence and be fully present and do all the things that um, bring you all joy as a family. That's gift enough if that's, you know, if that's what you can do. So that's it. I, I think I've said enough. I will continue to be putting posts out, but so Stay tuned for great content over the next week. And as I said in my newsletter, um, I still have a couple of slots available 
on the Saturday that I think it's the 23rd, the morning of it. Um, and I think I have some on the 21st or the 22nd. But anyway, you can you can check that out. Um, you, I'll pop a link in to my bookings page in the video uh, posts, video posts, video comments. Um, so, yeah, I will pop in again just before Christmas and wish you all a happy Christmas. But if you miss that. Have a wonderful time over this season and um, just tap back into the things that are really heartfelt and give you all joy. And there doesn't have to be a price tag attached to that. OK, take care. Bye.